Hello and welcome to my Keto Kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today I am bringing you my new standard keto flour, option two. The difference between option two and my original new standard keto flour is almond flour. We are changing pecan to almond. Now, the great thing about this is that no matter which one you use, whether pecan or almond, it is still 80 grams a cup. You will still follow the exact same recipe, same gram, same cup amount. There's no difference. The blessing about this is when I change from pecan to almond to give it to many of you didn't like pecans or you were allergic to pecans or you said you had a ton of almond flour in your pantry. So I want to bring you a new standard keto flour using the almond flour. This flour will be completely white. So I will end up using this particular mixture on my channel the most because it will be most aesthetically pleasing for viewers, for thumbnails, things like that. But the pecan flour behind the scenes, I keep it in my pantry for personal use, which it's not gonna matter. I'm still gonna use this one for personal use or the pecan flour. They are exactly the same in grams, the same in cups. So when I give you a recipe, whether it's cakes or cookies or breads, you're gonna follow it to a T, exactly the same, no matter which one of the new standard keto flour options you like the best. When I was creating this mixture, I had to take into consideration the fact that pecan flour has more moisture, it also has more fat. However, one cup of pecan flour is only 90 grams, when one cup of almond flour is 112 grams. So there were property factors that I had to take into consideration. I had to go back to the drawing board, the science book, and every other book that I have in my pantry and that I keep in my drawers when I'm creating flowers. And the most awesome thing was when I was making this flour, I was not aiming at getting 80 grams for each of them. When it came down to the science, how much of each ingredient was needed to give you the best results, it ended up being the exact same gram amount per cup. I was thrilled to death over that because as you know many of my flowers there are different gram amounts per cup but with the new standard keto flour pecan flour almond flour whichever recipe you choose to use it's the same grams per cup so let me show you how to make my new standard keto flour option two using almond flour okay so the first thing that we need just like with all of my flowers is going to be a scale that weighs in grams we need a bowl. I'm gonna set this on the scale, then I'm gonna clear the scale out to zero. I like my whisk and a cup for scooping. The first ingredient that we need is bamboo fiber, and of the bamboo fiber, we need three cups, which is 192 grams. Okay, next is the first change that we're making in this flour. And that is going to be one cup of almond flour. One cup is 112 grams. So, clearing out the scale. Next, we need egg white protein powder. And of the egg white protein powder, we need half of a cup, which is 60 grams. Okay, clearing it out again. Last but not least, we need xanthan gum. Now, this is what remains the same as well as the bamboo fiber. This we need 12 grams. Step one to getting this mixed up, I like to use a whisk, so I'm gonna whisk this as well as I can. And step two is I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to shake it. Okay, now that this is mixed very well, I'm going to put it into my container that I keep my almond flour mixture in. And once again, I will shake it. Perfect, so let me give you a few facts about this particular new standard keto flour, option two almond flour blend. So this mixture has two carbs per cup, which is still extremely low. Each cup is 80 grams. 
all of the information about this with all the macros will be in the description box below. There will also be a printable recipe card that will link you over to my website to make it easy for you if you just want to print this recipe out. I just want to say one more time that no matter which version of the new standard keto flour that you use, whether pecan or almond, it's the same grams per cup, it's the same cups per recipe, it doesn't matter, everything's the same. If you have a white flour recipe that you miss, use this flour. This is how. It's just like I said in the original New Standard Keto flour. It is cup for cup. It is not gram for gram because one cup of this equals 80 grams. One cup of white flour is 120 grams. So if the recipe is in cups, go for it. You can use that. You can use a cup or you can weigh out your cups, which are 80 grams a piece. If your recipe is already in grams and it's a white flour recipe, white flour is 120 grams per cup, so you will have to divide 120 into the grams, figure out how many cups that recipe is using, and then use the correct cup amount with this flour. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this flour blend. Which one you prefer? Do you prefer the pecan or do you prefer the almond? I wanted to hear you guys, especially when you said you had a ton of almond flour in your pantry. I just couldn't leave it there. I know you want to use it up, but this is an actual dream. This flour, whether pecan or almond, Many people don't like the oxalates, and with this, compared to my Perfecta Keto flour, there's only one cup of almond flour versus three cups of almond flour. This flour is much more fine, much more flour-like, and I have some surprises coming of things you can add to this flour and miracles that you can make happen, so stick with me. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and you have a blessed day.